Today's video is sponsored by Native. The first time I heard of Native is when they reached out to me and wanted me to try their deodorant, and I am so glad they did. Native uses simple ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil that we are all familiar with. They are aluminum free, paraben free, sulfate free, and vegan and cruelty free. Native feels super clean. It goes on really smooth and it doesn't leave any chalky residue and it dries super fast. It lasts all day and I'm showing you on my arm because you don't need to see a 60 year old woman's armpits. There are a lot of scents to choose from. I picked cucumber mint because it smells fresh and coconut vanilla because it reminds me of summer. But I got Chad the citrus herbal musk because those smells on him drive me absolutely crazy. I mean, I love it. Native recently teamed up with the LA-based lifestyle brand Jungle O to launch a limited edition collection of deodorants and body washes. And the creative packages to the unique scents like Paradise Flower and Amber, Tangerine and Citrus Blossom, Palm Leaf and Bergamot, and Sandalwood and Fig. It all reminds me of a vacation. There's free shipping to the U.S. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link and code GG Griffiths, you'll get them for $24. That's 33% off. I'm going to follow up on a video that I did. I had a lot of you ask me if I liked my new makeup and if I would apply my makeup for you. And it, a little bit embarrassed, but not really. It's kind of fun. Um, we're gonna put on makeup today. I ended up just going with this caddy and putting all my makeup in this caddy. And so every day that I put it on, I just pull it out from the cupboard and set it on top of the counter. In the drawer, I just keep my lotions, face lotions and creams, toothbrush, I do keep a little tube of lipstick here so I can grab it really quick, but the rest of my uh, lipstick I put in the caddy. So to answer your questions that you've had, yes, I still use the Tula. I like it. I know there's a lot of brands that I like, and every day I will put a little of this serum on and just put it all over my face. And then the next thing I apply is a little um, moisturizer. And I dot that all over it. And I put a little primer on. I think that just makes the makeup go on a little bit smoother. don't have to use it. Okay, so the, my face is all hydrated and I think that makes a big difference when you're putting on your makeup is if your face is hydrated. Um, I wanna tell you, a few weeks ago, I went to the dermatologist and I used to have these little red lines all over here and I had them here and I had them here and it hurts like the Dickens, but they use a laser and she went and she went over these lines and anyway i think they look pretty good now and i even had them get a little age spot here and they got some growths and stuff up in here so it's a good thing to have your skin checked out the first thing that i do is my eyebrows i'll take my eyebrows and just lift them straight up that's what the kids taught me and i just use this eyebrow pencil this is the anastasia and it's got this good little thing right there and i'll go all the way up with it so i can use this to line my eyebrows or a lot of times i'll just take this um busy gal brows from tarte and I won't do my whole eyebrow because it doesn't need it, but I will cover up the um, gray ones, just the gray ones. And I'll 
use this just a little. I still really like the NARS eyeshadow base and I'll put just a little bit above each eye. And that covers up the blueness or the little uh, blood vessels that are above your eye. I like that. And then I use the Charlotte Tilbury for underneath my eye and for any blemish areas that I have. And I do still like it. feel like there's just a little bit of discoloration here and add a habit that's where I used to put cover up the blood vessels but I don't have to do that so much anymore the next thing is my blush The next thing I do is put a little eyeshadow on, and this is the Lorac, and I do still really like it. I'll put just a little up here underneath my brow, and I put a little right dot right in there. I don't know why I do that, I just do. Then I pick a color. Today I think I'm gonna do this little bit of gold and I put that right in the crease. And I've watched enough of Bonnie's videos to know that she, um, oh my God, she blends. She blends and blends and blends. So that's what I do. I'll put it right there in the crease and then I just blend, 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 blend. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker brown, just a little bit, and put right on the eyelid. is I will line my lips with a little of this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I at first didn't know if I was gonna like these little ones or not, but I like it better than the big lipstick. See. I bought the big lipstick and I don't know if it's because it's a little more matte and this lipstick has a little more gloss to it but I really like these little ones. The last thing I do before I put my mascara on because I don't want this setting spray to make my mascara run or anything. So I'll just take this. Ellie got me onto this. This is called um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. It's pretty good. And then it's something that I just always do. I lick my fingers and I go like this with my eyelashes 
just in case there's a little bit of um, powder or makeup that got on them. And I'll just gently pull up my lashes. I don't pull them out, but just clean them off before I put on my uh, mascara. And this is the Liquid Lash Extensions from Thrive. Today's video was a lot of fun for me to make. It's a little different video than I normally do, but I enjoyed it and I enjoy getting ready for the day. I enjoy getting ready for me. And that is what's important, right? If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.